8 Ways to Boost Glutathione Glutathione is known as the master antioxidant for the body which is made by your liver. This is very important because it works throughout your body to protect your cells and DNA from free radical damage. Glutathione also helps to break down harmful toxins that your body makes into safe, water-soluble particles so that they can be released through your urine or your stool. Unfortunately, as we age, our bodies make less glutathione which could make the skin age at a faster rate because it's needed to protect against ultraviolet rays from the sun. Without enough glutathione, you're also more likely to get fatty liver disease and cancer becomes a higher risk as your mitochondrial DNA can be weakened. There's also a higher risk of brain diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's, a weakened immune system and a higher risk of heart problems when you don't have enough glutathione. Fortunately, there are some simple and natural ways to boost your glutathione levels to improve your overall health and lower these risks. And this is exactly what we'll be talking about in today's video. Be advised, this information is educational only, so do speak with your doctor if you have any medical or mental health concerns. 1. N-acetylcysteine One of the simplest and best ways to boost glutathione levels is to take up to 600mg of N-acetylcysteine from a supplement once per day. NAC is rich in cysteine, an amino acid that your liver uses as a raw material to build glutathione. People often take this to help repair liver damage, lung diseases and to help detoxify heavy metals from the body. This is one of the most effective ways to replenish your glutathione levels after having any type of disease. 2. Allium Vegetables when you consume toxins like alcohol, corn syrup, food additives or medications, glutathione helps your liver to break these down and remove them from your body before they can harm you. However, if you're consuming too many of these toxins, the liver may become overwhelmed and start to become inflamed which is liver disease. Now, you can help your liver to make more glutathione by simply eating more allium vegetables like garlic, onions, shallots, leeks and chives. These foods are rich in sulphur compounds that are converted into glutathione. They also contain other flavonoids which can boost the antioxidant network of your body. 3. Bone Broth just two to three generations back, our ancestors would always consume stewed animal bones and bone broth. The collagen and the minerals from bone broth actually played a role in human evolution and strengthening human hands. However, what you may not know is that bone broth is also packed full of glycine and proline. These are amino acids which are both essential for making glutathione in the liver. So when you're sick, you have an injury or you're under stress, drinking bone broth helps your body to heal by replenishing your glutathione reserves. So start slow cooking yourself some chicken bones and add some onions and chives for a tasty homemade liver cleansing meal. If you're finding this information helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe and turn all notifications on for my latest health and nutrition tips. Number four is aerobic exercise. If you have fat around your belly in a pot shape, you also likely have a fatty liver and lower the normal glutathione levels. Regular exercise such as high intensity interval training has been shown to boost the antioxidant network throughout the body and this helps to strip fat out of the liver and support weight loss. However, overtraining can actually deplete glutathione, so it's best to do short bursts of high intensity interval training. And a good example of this would be doing a sprint, not a marathon. 5. Red meat. Another very simple way to boost your glutathione is by eating foods which naturally contain it. Grass fed beef is one of the best natural sources of glutathione along with conjugated linoleic acid which is also good for weight loss and improving overall health. Beef is also a good source of heme iron and B12 which are also needed for a healthy liver and to make glutathione. Number 6 is A2 kefir. 
I recommend that you start consuming a small portion of kefir that's made from raw A2 cow's milk on a daily basis to increase your glutathione. A2 beta casein protein has been shown in studies to increase the concentration of glutathione levels in the body. It also supplies friendly bacteria and friendly yeasts, which can help to repair leaky gut and improve digestion. A2 kefir is also a good source of whey protein, yet another source of cysteine, the building block used to make glutathione. 7. Milk Thistle Milk thistle is a herb that's been used in traditional medicine for centuries to treat liver problems. This herb contains silymarin, a group of molecules that are known to strengthen liver cells and support the liver's capacity to recycle glutathione. It also helps to enhance blood circulation to your feet if you have liver problems. Take 2400 milligrams of freeze-dried milk thistle seeds three times per day to help boost glutathione and also to cleanse the liver. And finally, number eight is vitamin C and E. Antioxidants work in a network throughout the body to stabilize free radicals and protect your DNA and mitochondria from damage. When your body uses glutathione to do this, it then becomes oxidized and useless. However, when you take in other antioxidants like vitamin C and E, these can help to regenerate glutathione from its oxidized form, making it useful once again. So boost your vitamin C and E intake by eating foods rich in chlorophyll, the green pigment found in plants. Wheatgrass juice, sauerkraut, avocados, cabbage, moringa powder, green tea, cruciferous vegetables and salad are the best foods to do this with. I'd also note that selenium is also a powerful antioxidant that helps to recycle glutathione, which you can get by simply eating one to two Brazil nuts each day. Other ways to boost glutathione. Get more sunshine, as infrared light from the sun can boost melatonin, which also increases glutathione. Don't overuse painkillers every day, as these are hard for the liver to break down and will deplete your glutathione. Organic turmeric capsules offer natural pain relief, but they also raise glutathione levels, so you may want to use these instead. Stop drinking alcohol, smoking and eating too many processed foods, and eat lots of antioxidant-rich foods like berries, vegetables, grass-fed meats, wild fish, and extra virgin olive oil to replenish your antioxidant network. So for a quick summary, here's eight things that you can do to boost the master antioxidant glutathione. Take 600 milligrams of N-acetylcysteine, eat allium vegetables to supply sulfur, drink bone broth, do regular high intensity exercise, eat grass fed red meat, consume kefir from A2 cow's milk, use milk thistle and get more vitamin C and E from whole foods. If you'd like to learn more about repairing your liver and improving detoxification, go ahead and tap on the video that I've put on the screen now. Thanks so much for watching another of my videos. I wish you great health, wealth, and happiness.